We finally know the nine anglers moving on from the Opens into the Leeds for 2025, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. It is absolutely amazing and humbling, and I'm overwhelmed by the support and the comments and the members and subscribers, and I have to say thank you. It's unbelievably early, but I always am very thankful for everyone who is part of this team and part of the family. But if you're not, click that like and subscribe and become part of the team. I believe the Opens are the hardest to navigate and to earn a qualification into the Elites. And it's a lot of anglers' dreams to go through that gauntlet of tournaments and qualify for one of those nine spots. Next year it'll be 10 and a little bit different. But I do believe those anglers that go through that whole field and fish all over the country are some of the best anglers there are right now. It shows that you need to be able to fish shallow, you need to be able to fish deep. It shows that you have all the skill sets to become an elite angler and probably do very well. Just like the 2023 class, I think the 2024 class of elite anglers that are moving up are as good as any, maybe even slightly better than last year, and last year's was ridiculous. Now, they usually end up in Lake, Lake Hartwell, but because of the hurricane, they had to move the tournament to Lake Martin, which was a completely different way of fishing. Really not, unfortunately, not exciting fishing for big cat, for big fish, but the numbers were there. This was a, a tournament where ounces really mattered. You weren't going to see, if you caught a three or four pounder, you were really ahead of the game. You saw a lot of one fours to one tens in that range. There's a lot of small fish in Lake Martin. And this became really a grudge dink fest that was good and fun to watch. And if you knew the, the top 10 anglers going into Lake Martin, there wasn't many changes. People did move up and some moved down. But these are the nine anglers that are going to go to the elites next year in 2025. Easton Fothergill won the Angler of the Year. He got a $45,000 check, which will help him cover probably all of his tournament fees for next year, which is fantastic. And Easton is the real deal. So are all these anglers, to be honest. Cody Meyer from Idaho qualified. Tucker Smith from Alabama. Paul Marks from Georgia. Emil Wagner from Georgia. Andrew Loberg from California, Dakota Eber from Texas, Bo Browning from Arkansas, and Evan Kung from Canada. Now, Bo Browning was in 10th, and he had a great tournament, and it allowed him to jump up a couple spots and knock out one angler, and I think that was Matt Adams. And I'll say it again. These nine anglers are fantastic. Actually, Bo is Stephen Browning's son. And Dakota Ebert left the BPT last year where he was probably third or fifth or whatever it was in Angler of the Year points and wanted to qualify for the Bassmaster Elites. He left the BPT and in his first year qualified for the Elite season. And it shows you how strong of an angler he is. And he came in seventh in Angular of the Year points. He had one bad tournament. But this shows the consistency you need to have to be on in the Opens. And when you move into the elites, this is also something you need to have. Consistently will keep you in the elites. You don't want to have one or two bad tournaments because then you fall out of Angler of the Year points and then you fall out of possibly getting into the classic. Now Easton has is automatically getting, he has two classic bids, so he'll take one and give someone else in the elite field the other one. But this group of anglers, Easton, Cody, Tucker, Paul, Emil, Andrew, Dakota, Bo, and Evan are as good as we've ever seen come into the elites in one season. Last year, we had a fantastic group of anglers. This group of anglers is just as strong, if not a little bit stronger, than last year. Only because Dakota has proven himself as a pro angler over the years. You, can't, you go from BPT to the Opens... And at the BPT, he was, like I said, third or fifth in Angular of the Year points over the last couple of years. Dakota is, a absolute, is absolutely ridiculous as a, uh, an angler. 
And I believe these guys are the new wave of just fantastic handlers coming into the league. They are scopers. Most of them can scope. But I'm going to tell you the truth. All these guys here can fish the other way too. They can fish the traditional way. They don't need it to catch fish. They know how to fish all gamuts of the spectrum. From scoping down to traditional fishing. We have a group from last year's group and this year's group. There are 18 guys that are just unbelievable and the youth and youth is showing out right now it's not that they're better scopers and so forth the youth anglers have learned faster and better than we ever could have imagined what has taken me 20 or 30 years to learn these guys are learning in two and three years and these guys are way better anglers than the average joe and i consider myself an average joe but it'll be really interesting and fun to watch these guys and their careers on the 2025 Bassmaster Elite Series and further on. So what do you think? Do you know about these guys? Have you been watching the Opens? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I hope everyone is safe after these two hurricanes. I appreciate y'all. Thank you and cheers.